What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. It is already getting hot here in Houston. I am sweating and that's disgusting. Don't know why I'm telling you that. This story really started a long time ago, about three years ago. God put on my heart and on Chelsea's heart that one day we would either plant a church or we would be part of a church plant. We weren't really sure, but at that moment we started praying about what God would want us to do in the future. And we started praying where we would plant a church, when we would plant a church, what that would look like. We had no idea, but we just wanted to be ready that whenever God called us, we would be able to go. We wouldn't wait, but we would be prepared and we would just go whenever he told us it was time. And so about three months ago, God told us it was time. He told us to move to Naples, Florida to help some friends of ours, Kurt and Deb Cook, plant a church in Naples. And so we are very, very excited. And the reason why we started this vlog is because we wanted to stay connected to people. So if you have any questions about what we're doing, if you need prayer for anything, just go ahead, comment down below. We want to know what's going on in your life still. We want to be able to stay connected with people. That's the whole point of this vlog. We also wanted to be able to pastor people from afar. We wanted to be able to continue investing in people's lives that we started investing in a long time ago, but obviously across the country, that's really difficult. So we wanted to start this vlog so we could continue to invest in you. Also, we wanted to be able to help families connect more. A lot of the content that we have put out already has been things that we're doing as a family. We want to be able to help you and your family stay connected in this busy, crazy world that we are a part of. Well, as God called us to leave Texas and head to Florida, we started getting all of our ducks in a row. We put our house on the market. We started looking for housing in Florida. We started looking for jobs in Florida. And it has been amazing to see how God has come through over and over again. It is, it is really, really windy. You guys probably can't hear anything that I'm saying right now because it's really windy. That's awesome. So cool. I think it's gonna stop soon. So we put our house on the market and we started looking for jobs in Florida and we started looking for housing in Florida. And it has been amazing to see God come through and answer our prayers as we've been on this new adventure. That's not to say that we haven't hit roadblocks, okay? So I'm gonna kind of break this down, give you guys some updates on what's going on in our lives. And the first thing I wanna share is our housing. When we were getting ready to sell the house, we researched prices, we tried to figure out how much we should sell our house for. And so we looked at houses in our neighborhood, we looked at houses in our city, we also just prayed, God, what should we sell our house for? Crazy enough, as we were looking at houses, the number that God put on our heart was a lot higher than a lot of the places around us. And by a lot, I mean like, a lot higher than the places around us. And our realtor actually asked us, would you be willing to come down at all? And we said, we prayed about it. We feel like this is the number God gave us. And so we put it on the market. And a couple weeks later, we were actually going to Florida to be able to look for a new house to live in. Well, Chelsea prayed that while we were in Florida, we would get an offer on our house. And so, Literally 13 days after we put our house on the market, 13 days, we sold our house for asking price. Crazy. So once we got the offer, we started doing everything that we needed to do to get the house ready. And one of those things was getting our AC service. Everyone wants to know that your AC is working properly. So we get some guy to come out and look at our AC and he looks at it and he says that there's a leak. And he tells us that it's gonna be between six and $10,000 to fix our AC. 
we start talking to our home warranty. They send a guy out, he looks at it, and literally right before he walked in the door, we were praying that God would work out the details. And this guy looks at our AC and he tells us, you know what? Looks like home warranty is going to take care of it. It'll only cost you guys $200. Yes, $10,000 to $200. Crazy. God answered our prayers. It was absolutely amazing. So the buyers scheduled an appraiser to come out and look at our house. And our realtor called and she said that we needed to be praying. She said the last four houses she had tried to sell in our area didn't appraise for what someone was offering to pay. And she said, guys, there are bigger houses, there are more updated houses, there are houses that are in better locations, they're on cul-de-sacs, they're on corner lots, and they haven't sold for anywhere near what these people are offering to pay for your house. I don't think this house is going to be appraised for that. So just be ready for that. And so we started to pray. We started to say, God, if this is what you want, work out a way. God, we need these extra finances so that we can make it in Florida. And so we started praying and we heard back from the appraiser within 24 hours that our house was appraised for exactly what they offered us. Even though it has been difficult, Everything is going just the way that God wants it to go. And it has been amazing to see us hit walls and then see breakthrough. It's been amazing to see us hit roadblocks and then see miracles. And so we can't wait to see what God continues to do. On Monday, we sign papers, we close, and we head off to Florida to jump into this crazy new adventure. And we just can't wait. Okay, I know that was a lot. So before we jump into any of the other updates that I have for you guys, I'm gonna get some water because I longboarded all the way here and I really need some water. You guys check out the B-roll of this beautiful, beautiful park. The first thing that God started to do is he started to set up jobs for us. Chelsea, as most of you guys know, has become a health coach. She started dieting right before Christmas last year and it has changed her life dramatically. And so she found out that she could actually make money helping other people change their lives the way that she has seen her life change. And she is so passionate about that and she is crushing it. I know she's not on this video, but I just wanna take a moment to brag on my wife because she is doing absolutely amazing. She is the best mom that I've ever seen her be. She is living a healthy life and it has affected so many other areas, her emotional life, her mental life, her spiritual life, as well as her physical well-being and her physical health. And so it's been amazing to watch her walk through this journey. And when she found out that she could actually make money helping other people experience the same thing, she jumped at the opportunity. So God set that job up and knew that he was gonna prepare her for that in December before we even knew that we were going anywhere. For me, he connected me with another guy, Blake, what up? And we are starting a creative agency together and it is absolutely amazing. I get to do what I've been doing in the church world for almost 10 years and I love it. I get to help people with branding, with marketing, with messaging for their companies. I get to help build websites. And honestly, if I'm lucky, I would love to be able to do photography stuff and video stuff. And so we are having so much fun starting this creative agency. Um, but it has been insane to do this right whenever we're stepping out to help a church plant. It doesn't make any sense in the human mind for us to be doing what we're doing. But we know that God has called us to start both of these businesses at the same time as we are jumping into this church plant. We don't understand it, we don't get it, but we are trying to walk by faith every single day, one step at a time. And as we are taking those little steps of obedience, we're seeing God come through and we're seeing him do amazing things. As far as our housing in Florida, that's one thing that you guys can still be praying for. We have had some hiccups and honestly, it's been stressful. It has been trying. We have had doubts. We have had 
bad emotional days, but the truth is we know that God has a plan. We had a house set up, we put in our application, we paid all this money down front to be able to start the process and it fell through. It didn't work out. And so we're leaving on Monday to go to Naples and we don't even necessarily have a place for our family yet. Luckily, the pastors of the church, Kurt and Deb, are letting us live with them. But as many of you guys probably realize, us and our three kids are probably going to outstay our welcome very quickly. So we're trying to find a place to live as quickly as possible and we're trusting God with that. We know that the other place fell through because God has a perfect place for our family. He has a place that we're going to love, that we're going to be able to raise our family in, and we can't wait to see it. And so even though sometimes it's stressful and it's trying, we're walking by faith, believing that God has an amazing place for us. But before we ever get into that place, I need some food because I am starving. My wife has convinced me to be healthy. Don't know how, but she did. And so I've got to go to Chick-fil-A and pick up a salad. Let's roll. Ah, glory, chick delay. As soon as I get out of the car, I can smell it. Ooh, can't wait for this. I have to eat a salad, that kind of sucks. But it's still Chick-fil-A, it's gotta be good. You know it's gonna be good. All right, let's do this. Got the package. Oh, so delicious. Can't wait to get home and eat this awesome salad. Don't know why I'm saying that. I've literally never said that in my whole life, but I wanna be healthy. That's important, right? I've got three kids. Okay, I'm starving, but stay tuned because after I eat, I'm gonna tell you guys everything that this entire journey has taught me. You don't wanna miss it. I'll be right back. Mm. Chick-fil-A is definitely the Lord's chicken. If you're a Raising Cane's fan, I'm sorry. They've got awesome sauce, but the chicken at Chick-fil-A is absolutely the Lord's chicken. Okay, that it has nothing to do with anything that we're talking about right now. Okay, let's get to the point. Two major things that I have learned in this season as we have been in this crazy journey, heading out on this new adventure, the first thing is this, that walking by faith is really hard. Here's the truth. There are times in our lives where we have walked by faith before, but in comparison to how crazy big this step of faith that we have taken is, they were nothing. And in this season, it has been really difficult at times to stand on what we know is true and not let ourselves be overwhelmed by our emotions. We know that God has called us to help this church plant. We know that God has called Chelsea to be a health coach. We know that God has called me to open a creative agency. We don't know how all of that stuff is gonna work out. And honestly, it's difficult not knowing when money's gonna come in, not knowing if we're gonna have money to buy food to put on the table. We don't even have housing yet in Florida. We don't know how God is gonna provide for that stuff. But all we're doing is we're taking one step of faith at a time, one step of obedience, at a time. And sometimes that step is really, really, really tiny. And that's all we can do. We just know that God has told us one next move. And so we take that next move. We take that next step. And so far, God has worked miracles over and over and over again. But it's been hard. It's been really hard to walk by faith and not let doubt creep in, not let fear creep in, not let insecurity creep in, but instead walking confidently in the faith that God has given us. Which leads me to the second huge thing that I am learning in this season. Living a, as I'm gonna call it, only God can do it life is the best life. The truth is this, every second of every day right now, only God can do it. The only way that we're going to get a place to live in Florida is if God does it. We are two people that are self-employed and we have no pay stubs from the jobs that we are working. We do not have enough income that someone can look at our past income and know that we can pay the bills. And so we're praying to God every single day that someone will be willing to rent to us, that God would work on their heart, that they would be willing to let us live in one of their places. 
but man, that is hard. And it puts us in a position where we can say, only God can do it. Only God can figure out this situation. And it has been the most exhilarating season that we have ever lived in. It's crazy because we have felt pain and doubt and stress and confusion and insecurity and all of these things that we haven't felt to this level ever in our entire marriage. There are things that we are struggling with and emotions that we're having to deal with each and every day as we're walking by faith that we've never had to deal with. And it is really difficult at times. But here's the other amazing thing. We have never experienced this level of faith, this level of hope, this level of joy, this level of security, this level of peace. And it's been amazing. It has been unreal to be able to feel God's presence and feel his hand on our lives in a way that we have never, ever felt before. And this is a bold thing to say, but I really think that this is how God wants us to live all the time. So many times in my life, I have tried to eliminate the tension or the struggle that I am coming up against in my life. I've tried to get rid of it by any means necessary. If that means solving a problem, then I'm gonna solve the problem. If that means looking for someone to help to get me out of a situation, I'm gonna ask someone for help. I'm going to try and take that medicine if my back hurts. I'm going to try and get into counseling if my marriage is struggling. I'm going to try and do everything I can, which there's nothing bad about counseling, okay? If you're in counseling, that's awesome. I've been in counseling a billion times. It's awesome. But all I'm trying to say is that so many times I want to feel this tension and remove it as fast as possible. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to struggle through it. I don't want to let God do what he is trying to do in the middle of the situation. And I believe that with all my heart. I don't know that I would have been able to say that before this season that we're in right now, but I really believe that that tension between fear and love, that tension between joy and uncertainty, that tension between doubt and faith, all of those things are things that keep us focused on God that keep our lives centered and focused on this idea that only God can do it. And when we're living in only God can do it life, then God works miracles. And it has been crazy to see this come true in our lives. I never would have thought that I could be this close to the Holy Spirit, that I could be this sensitive to the Holy Spirit and over the last few weeks, as we have had to look to God for everything, I mean, I'm praying about smaller things than I've ever prayed about in my life because every decision that we're making right now is a huge decision, even if it is where we live, even if it is when we move, all of these moving pieces have to fall into place. And so we're praying every little thing that God would speak to us so that we can be in his timing and be right in step with him. And as we have been doing this, I've become so much more sensitive to the Holy Spirit than I ever have. And because of that reason, he has opened my eyes to see people, to see struggles, to see things that I haven't seen in years. And not to say that if I was still at the church, I couldn't be experiencing this, I could have been. I could have been experiencing this in years past, but I just took things as they came. And because life was easy and I had security and I had so many things that came easy to me, I just did what happened the next day. And I didn't pray about the small things. I didn't look to God like I probably should have looked to God. And in this season where I absolutely have to look to God, I have to depend on him because only God can do the things that we are asking him to do. I have been able to experience him on a level that I never thought possible. And I have met people and been able to share the gospel with people that I never would have come in contact with. I've been able to see people saved that I never would have come in contact with, that I never would have been bold enough to start a conversation with a stranger 
But because I have been so in tune with the Holy Spirit, so committed to this only God can do it life, I've been able to see him do amazing things. And it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with how good he is. And I just want to say, maybe you're in a season right now where God has put something on your heart. God has put a dream on your heart and maybe you even took baby steps at first to start it, but then you took some steps back. Maybe you let fear creep in. Maybe you let insecurity creep in. Maybe you hit some roadblocks and you didn't see breakthrough. And so you gave up. I want to challenge you to just trust God. Maybe God let something fall apart because he's got something better on the other side. Maybe God wants you to keep pursuing that dream. Maybe God doesn't want you to give up. Maybe he wants to do something greater in you than you could ever even ask or imagine. That's my prayer for my family right now. That's my prayer for everybody watching this video. Man, that's my heart, that this YouTube channel wouldn't just be something fun where you get to watch our family, but that this would be something that impacts you and your family and the people that you're surrounded by, that the Holy Spirit would speak to you, that we would be able to do everything that God has called us to do, even if it seems crazy, that we would be able to experience God doing infinitely more than we might ever ask or imagine. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I know that I have rambled a lot and poured my heart out on this video. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Man, we would love for you guys to stay up to date with everything that we're doing. So subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notifications whenever we post a new video, just in case you don't see something on social media that YouTube will alert you that we have a new video up and you can see what our family's doing. You can see what's going on in our lives. And we want to be able to give you guys tools to grow closer as a family, to grow stronger in your faith, and to be able to experience everything that God has called you to do. And so let us help you with that. Subscribe to our video, hit that bell. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Man, we can't wait to hear testimonies of everything that God is doing in your life. So as you pursue your dreams, make sure you comment below. Comment and let us know what a dream is that God has placed on your heart. And we would love to be praying for you and see God do infinitely more than we could ever ask or imagine.